It's not often you get that excited about technology. People have been waiting for this for a long time. That's fantastic. That's big. That is absolutely gorgeous, finally. I didn't think that the open concept of Pro Tools would ever actually be this open. I just opened up Pro Tools 9 for the first time. All you need is your eye lock, right? Dang and use the core audio to play back. This is, oh man. I think Pro Tools 9 is potentially one of the most exciting things since Pro Tools HD was invented or, or any of those major milestones. We can start with a system on a machine running with literally like a pair of headphones and we can go all the way up to a system running with however many interfaces or outputs we need. To be able to ditch I.O. completely and edit that exact same session on headphones. It's amazing. Just the raw functionality that Nine has without needing to resort to a DV toolkit or any of that stuff is a very exciting development. You can get busy really quickly and really easily and, and without spending much money. For $600 for someone to be able to have what previously used to cost me a ton of money and have access to all the stuff, it's perfect. The fact that There'll be delay compensation, that's killer. I can actually sit there and like process things and make real decisions on the fly and not have to be tied down to the studio, I mean, it's cool. It's just making it streamlined, it's making it easier, make, making it more affordable, it's, it's everything you would want. It means I don't have to think about it that much, I can think about making the moment. You can actually mix at home on your laptop. Now, with Pro Tools 9, get it and use the built-in audio for a while, and after a while you're going to realize that, okay, now I need something that sounds better, and you'll have a ton of choices, but at least the software platform is available to everybody. To just say, here's the software, go ahead, is great. And you don't have to worry about what your friend's using. Being able to, like, cut down those boundaries and uh, level the playing field, that's awesome. When you look at a movie, it's an integrated result. The more that we're able to have fluidity to the workflows in those situations, that helps us deliver much better results. That's just one example of the workflow solution approach that's now permeating the Avid universe. I bought the first Mbox and I loved it. And I thought it was great, you know. And this sounds beautiful to me, so I'm, now I'm shopping. I'm like, which one do I want? You know. I like the build of this a lot more. This is a, a, a huge improvement. I think there's always been a hole in the product line that we've we've really been missing is something to sit between, you know, what what to now has been LE and the HD systems. And I think the native system really comes and and sits in that space very well. There's all these different levels to get in, and it's actually like the initial levels are even cheaper than most other software. This is the midway point. The more I work with the HD native card, the more I'm realizing that it's kind of hard to overload it. It is way more powerful than I thought it was going to be. Pro Tools has always had the best sound quality. HD sounds great, it's solid. You'd never want to finish it anywhere but Pro Tools. For what I do, I need as much as I can possibly get. I need tons of tracks, lots of TDM, lots of RTAS virtual instruments I need as, as big as I can get. I can have 180 plugins all over the place, TDM and RTAS, and still do an overdub. When we're running in certain situations, we absolutely need to know that it will do X, Y, and Z every time, every day, and it does. I think Heat has transformed the entire concept of what it means to be doing a mix in the box more than anything that's happened. We can transform the, the sound of Pro Tools into a completely different environment. Even though I mix on a vintage Neve console, I still use heat all the time on almost every mix. We can warm it up, we can brighten it up, we can make it more like we're going through an older analog console. We're finding the results are just magical. It's basically my little mini SSL. Everything that I needed the SSL for to automate my mixes, I have available in a very, very small footprint. 
the surfaces themselves are amazing. So as that integration gets tighter, it's going to be really, really cool. Now, all of a sudden, we can integrate Euphonics architecture into our workflow in a way that we haven't been able to do in the past. It's quadrupled the number of facilities available where we can now expand our workflow. The pace of innovation and product development here has just like taken off like a rocket. Gee, I wish it would do this. Oh, it does this now. But if they would just add this, oh, it does it now. Everything is a logical progression and adding features. You really are now starting to come out with products that are truly revolutionary. Everybody keeps coming out with products that try to beat the bar that Abbott sets, and they don't.